Junk Warrior! And you actually... He absorbed our Thunderbolt from Stardust Dragon, and I love the fact that on the screen right now, we have two of you Saifudo's Ace Monsters fighting for the top spot. Who's gonna be the number one card monster for you Saifudo? Let's find out. And welcome back to a new part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Poke Duel. When we last left off, we defeated Gym Leader Darts in an epic duel in order to obtain our seventh gym badge here at the Cinnabar Islands, uh, aka Atlantis, I call it that. And uh, now we are ready to explore one island after we talk to Bill. But first, I decided to do a few changes to our team. I added back our Livia Dragon Daedalus in order to be able to surf, and I added back the Egyptian Gods, Obelisk, the Tormentor, and Slifer, the Sky Dragon, back to our team. And uh, if you notice, there is an empty spot available here, and no, it's not what you think, <laughs> it's not for the Winged Dragon of Fraud just yet. Uh, this spot is reserved for a monster uh, that's a new addition in patch 4.2, and I'm very eager to add him to our team, so... Uh, without further ado, let's start our quest by talking to Bill. Hey, you kept me waiting. Ready to set sail to one island? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, that's it. Let's go. And thunder roars again, but last time it, it seemed to be like a good luck charm instead of an ominous uh, warning. Looks like my pal's boat arrived, too. He sent it specially here to Cinnabar to pick me up. Okay then, uh, Silio, I presume, <laughs> so we're about to go meet him now. Here we are, this is one island. There are several islands around here, and this is one of them. My friend Silio sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of the island's PC network by his lonesome. Why am I telling you this now? Let's just go see Silio. Hey there, Silio! Bill! I can't believe you came out here! Well, absolutely, my friend. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a sec. Uh, Adhan, this is my buddy Silio. He's one dedicated PC maniac like me! <laughs> Silio, this is Adhan, a rising contender as the Pokémon champ. That's really impressive! I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you, Adhan. Uh, likewise, Mr. Cilio. So, bring me up to speed. Uh, how's your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs on these islands uh, just can't link with your PC, Bill. Oh yeah? Okay, let me take a look. See? Hang on here. I think we can make it work. Let me help you, okay? Adam, can I get you to wait for me just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favor? The island next to this one's called Two Island. There's a guy there that runs a game corner. <laughs> I remember that. And I remember Lost Hill too. He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. We keep in touch, being fellow maniacs and all. Uh, so, can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? Is it is that the Orikako stone? No, it's just a meteorite. And I always say it has a trace of the symbiote or something, but in this world it could be the Orikako stone, who knows? Adham, if you're going to Two Island, please take this. Try pass, okay. It's a pass for the ferry service serving the local islands. It will let you travel between the islands 1, 2, and 3, for now. Oh, you should have this too. I'll catch you later, Adham. Say hi to the guy for me. Well, sure thing, Silio and Bill. And... We're supposed to go to Two Island now in order to talk to the Game Corner guy or go to the volcano up ahead in order to obtain our Winged Dragon of Ra. But instead, we have a new cave here, guys! <laughs> Added in patch 4.2. So, what dwells in this cave, you ask? Well, if you check the Dex Nav, nothing dwells here. 
This is a special, special cave that has a special monster. Everyone say hello to our newest addition, Stardust Dragon. Yes, this is where you obtain Stardust Dragon in order to add him to the Pokedex and to our team. Welcome, welcome. Stardust Dragon, Dragon Flying, Sassy Nature, of course he is. <laughs> Victory Star, raises accuracy of allies and itself by 10%. Guys, this is awesome. He has another ability, I think um, it reflects uh, the status problems, where uh, if you get paralyzed, he gets paralyzed too. I, I'm not sure about that, so uh, don't take my word for it. But he has another ability. I'm very glad that we got this one. Defense mode, Leer, Dragon Breath, and Air Cutter. Guys, guys, we have Starless Dragon in our team. I'm so happy about this. <laughs> and I cannot wait to see you in action, kind sir. So, let's feed you some rare candies. And by the way, I did not... Dragon Rage. Okay, I'll check that. I did not check the move tutor after we defeated Dark. So, maybe there is something uh, worth checking there. Dragon Rage, the foe is hit with a shockwave that always inflicts minus 40 HP damage. Well, I can add it instead of uh, defense mode for sure, but I don't think it's gonna be a permanent addition in our arsenal. Air Slash, now that is more useful, 75-95. I will... I mean, we already have Air Cutter, so it will be an upgrade for Air Cutter for sure. I was going to forget Leer, but you know what? Let's keep Leer for now and replace it with something else. Okay, Cosmic Flare, now we're talking. 95-100, blast the foe with a powerful burst of energy, forcing the target to switch out. Low priority move. Low priority move, so it will always go second, I guess. Sure. Um. We have here Dragon Rage and Dragon Breath, 6100. And this is 95100. So this is not a low priority move. So I will learn Cosmic Flare instead of Gear. And I don't know how that will affect Wild Encounters. Um, will that like end the battle instantly or something? We'll have to check. If they can survive the if they can survive the impact, of course. Meteor Mash! Okay, I can add a Steel-type move instead of Dragon Rage. Yeah, sure. I will try Flash Cannon too, since it's going to be more uh, accurate. And I know 52 is no longer our level cap after defeating Darts, but you know what? Uh, I will not use any more Rare Candies now. And let me check the TM case. What can we teach you, Mr. Stardust Dragon? It would be awesome if you can surf, but of, <laughs> unfortunately not. Um, uh, that's the only reason Daedalus is here, uh, unfortunately. I would like to clear that spot. You can learn Ice Beam. Whoa, okay Daedalus, now, now we're talking. Now you're giving me an incentive to keep you. I mean, I, ha I have already seen Livia stream and Umi, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna replace Umi and Livia stream with Ice Beam and Surf. Yeah, I know it's more thematic to leave Livia stream there, but you know what? The setup takes a long time for me, for my taste at least, my personal preference. So I will not keep them, Umi and... Um, uh, Livia stream and I will learn Ice Beam instead. I think that is an upgrade. Solar Beam. It's interesting that you can learn that, but I will not teach it to you. You can learn Iron Tail, of course. Thunderbolt, though. Sure, I will uh, teach that to you. And you know what? I would like to see Cosmic Flare, so I will remove Dragon Breath from your arsenal and replace it with Thunderbolt. Sure.
You cannot learn Flash Cannon. Interesting. So Meteor Mash will be your preferred Steel type move. Okay. Okay then. So you know what? Now let's go and check the move tutor uh, on two island in order to see if we have any more um, moves that we can uh, teach to our team members here. Hello, I'm a Drytron player. That's one of the new archetypes. Do you know if I can negate my wife's divorce papers? Well, you're free to try it with the judge, sir. So, like, objection! I negate your objection! <laughs> Can you imagine, like, this is how you resolve lawsuits at the court? That the lawyers are duelists? That is actually a nice trailer for going to law school, if you ask me. So, that's nice. Protect. I'm not gonna learn that. Man. I negate your objection! <laughs> that's fun. So, the move tutor is not here so maybe i need to go back to mainland in order to teach um those moves so thank you nurse joy and okay let's let's keep that until we get back and uh, there are a few things we can do here in two island uh, let's start with you sir oh hello welcome to my shop we've only opened up recently our merchandise is limited but i hope we can serve your needs i I know we don't need great balls or fresh waters, but every time I come to, uh, to Island, <clears throat> I think I buy from this guy in order just to give him some money to help him with his uh, small business. Is there anything else I can do for you? No, sir, thank you. Please come again. I can't promise you that, sir, but um, it, guys, support small businesses, please. Uh, people need it, even at this time of need. Uh, so, I took financial advice from a duelist. Not a good idea. Now I'm under investigation for tax evasion. Yeah, I was just gonna say, that's uh, that's not a good idea, kind sir. Maybe you will go to resolve that at court too, <laughs> using some uh, dueling cards. I used to be the only move relearner in the region. Yeah, there is another one now in Lavender Town. This meant I could charge whatever price I wanted for my service. Then that, okay, moved to Lavender Town and retaught moves for free. Now I'm jobless and mushroomless. I remember I search everywhere for those mushrooms and it turned out that Paris gives them in uh, Mount Moon. I don't remember who's the monster that gives them here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokeduel, but um, you don't require it for the movie learner in this ROM hack. In the original Pokemon game, you did. Um, so it's very nice that the movie learner is now residing in Lavender Town for free. And um, okay, that means we still have only one in the whole ROM hack, right? Yeah, this guy did not offer to relearn moves, so we still have one. Booing, booing! Have you tried the jumping game? The Pokemon you can enter. Booing! Um, I remember Snorlax. Who's gonna be in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokeduel? Master of Oz! <laughs> sure! Some go booing, and some go booing! Did you know that? Booing! <laughs> no, I did not know that. Now, where's Lost Who Gotten To today? She always brings me lunch every day, right about now. Huh, you there. Are you a friend of Lostel's? Not yet, sir. That's in the future. Have you seen Lostel around? I don't know where she might be. She should have been here long ago. Lostel's a cutie. She got my looks. So what if someone... What if something's happened to my Lostel? And I always reply, then don't let her go alone, sir. <laughs> Unsupervised like that. Please, help me find her. Please go search Tree Island! Huh? What is this game corner? How much sadder can this get? Those clowns! They said they'd be waiting on the island, so where are they? Hey you! Is this the only Tree Island around here? Try waking up before you crawl out of bed, you punk! And learn how to read, too! This is Two Island! Move it! Get your filthy motorbike out of my place, or else! Huh? Oh, uh... Gotcha! Huh. These islands are confusing. Yeah, wait until you see all seven of them, sir. Would you look at that? That punk scuffed up my floor! Don't worry, sir. Hey, but listen. I'm begging you. You have to go to Tree Island. If anything were to happen to my lost doll, 
My place is the house with the red roof on Tree Island. She may just show up late here, so I can't run off anywhere. That's why I have to get you to do me this big favor. Yeah, I remember I told myself as a child when I first saw this dialogue, that makes sense. Why would I search for your daughter if you could just leave and go search for her yourself? So that was uh, a nice um, uh, excuse to give uh, for the player to do that quest. I'm sorry, we're not running any games today. Well, I am, <laughs> so good luck with yours. And before we leave for Tree Island, guys, we have those stairs right here. And those stairs are special because up here we have Raphael. And I remember you, sir. You entrusted us with Guardian Iatos in version 1 after we defeated you. I don't think I will add her again because she's already a Hall of Fame inductee, so... Let's see what you have to offer. Maybe if we can defeat you, you will give us a very special stone. I have only one purpose, and that is to collect souls for Master Darts. And just now, I remembered that I did not put Stardust Dragon up front. That's a mistake on my part. People like you who disrespect their cards make me sick. Well, I don't disrespect my cards, sir, but at all. But I f did forget to put Stardust Dra <laughs> Dragon up front, so sorry about that. This world needs to be ridden of evil people like yourself who forget to put their Stardust Dragon up front. Get ready, because I'm going to take your soul away. I activate the seal of Orichalcos and also Celestial Sword Iatos. Here we go, Duelist Raphael with his black glasses sends out Big Shield Gardner. Now... One of the things I wanted to be added in the ROM hack is more Guardian monsters, so let's just pretend this one is Backup Gardener, shall we? And you know what? I think I will see how Surf does against you. Okay, decent amount of damage. Double edge, though. Hmm. Then maybe I should use something else. Maybe Dragon Pulse. Okay, more damage in my eyes. Rest, though. You're back to full health. Well, you know what? That is actually not a bad thing at all, because now I can safely switch to our new addition. Say hello to the debut of Stardust Dragon. Yeah, you're asleep. You did. You missed it, Big Shield Garner. <laughs> what is that? What? You can use Drain Punch while you're sleeping? Well, I have Air Slash and Cosmic Flare. Tell you what, I will use Cosmic Flare and get you out of here, Big Shield Garner. Guardian Iatos right away! Wow, <laughs> Ace Monster shall clash, I guess. Guardian Iatos was dragged out. So, against her, let's use Thunderbolt! Quick Attack is super effective? How? Quick Attack is a normal type move. How? Do you have a special ability, Guardian Iatos? <gasps> okay, let me remember what's it called. Uh, Pixelate. We had Pixelate on our Starry Night Starry Dragon. It makes normal type moves fairy type moves, so fairy will definitely work on our Stardust Dragon. Wow, you have pixelate Guardian Iatos, that is actually very impressive. Thunderbolt is super effective against you, so should we pit you against Lifer? Ha! <laughs> well, let's do it. So, you have Guardian Iatos, I have an Egyptian god, Slifer, the Sky Dragon. What are you gonna do now, Raphael? Thunder Force attack! Wow, one hit! No chance, Guardian Iatos. I'm sorry, you're very powerful. You're one of our Hall of Fame inductees. But, uh, no chance against an Egyptian god, sorry. Silent Swordsman level 7. I think that is instead of Guardian Graro, so... Against Guardian Graro, I will send our second Egyptian god, Obelisk, the Tormentor. Tor. 
I break the mold. So, against you, sir, those are super effective, nice. So, obelisk, use fist of fury. Goodbye, Guardian Growl. And who do you have for KS? Do you have a mermaid or uh, maybe Alma? Kuri Babylon! Well, against Kuri Babylon, uh, I will send out our Dread. Thank you, Obelisk. So, against you, Kuri Babylon, I will use Thunderbolt! What is that? What is that? You now have the dread? Kuri Babylon can do that? Wait, what? It failed? What? Kuri Babylon can do that? I'm gonna lash out on you, <laughs> if, if I can. So, you steal our Dread, Raphael? Wow. Wow, that is a very nice ability you have there. Daedalus can take you down, but I need you to go down to our Injection Fairy Lily. I want my Dread back, sir. Oh, I forgot you have Flash Cannon. Oh, no. She can survive it. Take him down, Injection Fairy Lily. Not very effective. Okay, so Injection Fairy Lily was unsuccessful in returning back our Cory Babylon. Wait, what? Did I just say our Cory Babylon? <laughs> in returning back our Dread, I should have said. And I'll send out Daedalus for you, sir. I should have done this instead of Injection Fairy Lily, I just wanted it for the theme, you know? So, against you, I will use Surf! And we're paralyzed, that's not good, but Surf goes through. Goodbye, fake dread. Man, that is a very, very nice ability on Quarry Babylon, I like it, I like it very much. Big Shield Gardener. Um... You know what? I would like to break you with our obelisk, Fist of Fury. So bring it on, sleeping big chilled gardener. My card saved my life. So see, that is the last monster that you have, sir. What can we do against you? I will use Drain Punch. Yes, I did not think that would be enough to take you down. Oh, you used West again. I wanted to use Hammer Arm in order to finish the job, but it wasn't to be. So, I will use back Tantrum here. still asleep and with this fist of fury you will sleep for a very long time obelisk fist of fury to finish this duel goodbye backup gardener how can this be well i respect my card sir that's why as a reward for defeating me that's new please take this stone with you yes that's how you obtain Okay, it's over 10,000 years old and possesses mysterious power. It is. Come on. I believe there is a scientist in Pewter City who can examine it. It is. The Aurichalco Stone. 
a peculiar fossil originating from Atlantis. It doesn't have the logo correctly on it, but you can imagine that it has the uh, Oricalco symbol on it. Man, we obtained the Oricalco stone, and that gets revived at Pewter City to obtain a very special monster. Guardian Iatos will always look after me. Yes, it will, Raphael. And I remember you entrusted her to us in this patch of grass you can obtain. Guardian Iatos, we have seen everything that dwells here. Excellent. So if we would like, we can actually meet her, hopefully. No, that is totally awesome, Jiraiya-sama. Acrobatics. A nimble attack that does double damage if the user has no held item. Interesting. I'll have to check that. And I've never actually resolved this quest from this lady over here. Let's see if her dialogue changes. I perfected the ultimate move with its type. But will no one take it for future use? Hmm? Hmm. Th that Daedalus. No, I was just mistaken. My team, right now, has Obelisk, Slifer, Stardust Dragon, and what caught your eye is Daedalus? Maybe because he's a fossil, I guess. But man. Okay, ma'am, I, I... The only monster in my team I'm willing to change is only here because of Surf, to be honest. So, if someone else can learn how to surf, I will not keep him. Sorry about that, Daedalus fans, but uh, that's my personal opinion, and... Uh, on Tree Island... We have a succession of battles, so you know what? Thank you, Nerd Joy. I will not repeat the mistake I did on Two Island, and I will actually switch our Stardust Dragon right now. He's not holding an item. You know what? I can give him an item for sure, in order to make him stronger too. I can give him the Expert Belt or the Scope Lens. Imagine if uh, Stardust Dragon can evolve. Man, that would be awesome, but it's not in this ROM hack. Um... Okay, so I think I will give you the Expert Belt. That did wonders for our Isaac Clark, and for sure it will do wonders with you, Stardust Dragon. And I need to remember to be careful here, because if I pressed uh, too fast, we will go back to one island. Yes, see there? <laughs> Uh, I, I only made this mistake like 500 times before, and there is no guarantee I'm not gonna do it again, so... Yeah, it's something funny. And I remember this cave. It's not open yet. No, it's not. So it opens after you uh, defeat the Elite Four and the Champion, and there is actually a patch of grass at the end of it, uh, with some dual monsters that dwell there. Rare rocks and gems are displayed. Well, I have an Orcalco stone. It smells delicious! Somebody's been cooking here! Is that you, Dwayne? Can you smell? <laughs> what, what was it? Do you smell what Lostal is cooking? Are you the boss? Go back to Kanto right now! Huh? I just got here, pal! What's with the hostile attitude? It's mighty cold of you! Your gang of followers have been raising havoc on their bikes! Do you have any idea how much trouble they've caused us on the island? No, man. I don't get it at all, actually. <laughs> Look at this place. What do you do for entertainment here? You ought to be thanking us for livening up this sleepy village. But hey, if you insist, you can try making us live yourself if you want. Uh, you cowards. So tough in a pack. Well, that's where we come in, and just to make sure... Stardust Dragon is up front? Yes, let's see him in action. You! What are you staring at? Don't you know it's not polite? You wanna make something of it or what? Yes, sir. Huh, I like your guts. You'll be losing money to me, but... Well, I don't think so, sir. You can send all what you want, because it will be no match to our Stardust Dragon. Even though Rocket Warrior, I don't think we have something super effective against you. 
But nonetheless, I will try to take you down using Thunderbolt! Junk Warrior! And you actually... He absorbed our Thunderbolt from Stardust Dragon, and I love the fact that on the screen right now, we have two of you Saifudo's Ace Monsters fighting for the top spot. Who's gonna be the number one card monster for you Saifudo? Let's find out. So, Stardust Dragon, we cannot lose this. So, let's use Air Slash. Okay, you had your shot. Hopefully, we can deal more damage than that. And yes, we do. So, if we survive the next hit, we can take you down, Junk Warrior. And Stardust Dragon reigns supreme, which means he proves himself to be the true ace monster of Yusei Fudo. You have Rocket Warrior? Well, you know what? I will conserve our Stardust Dragon and annihilate you using our Dread. I don't like Rocket Warrior in this round, heck, I'm sorry. So, against you, I will use Drakkar's Dread. This is the dread kind, sir. You, you should be afraid. Oh man, don't you dare laugh. Ha 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 ha. What are you gonna do about it? Aren't you from Kanto? You should be on our side. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not kind, sir. Junk Warrior off the bat. We have a rematch, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well, well. Let's see. Against you, I will use Air Slash again. Something not extreme speed, we can take you on. You use extreme speed, and that means Junk Warrior is gonna take down our Stardust Dragon in this battle, unfortunate. So it's one each, one win each, so... But we were hurting, so yeah, I, I would like to say that Stardust Dragon is a front, but on paper, it's still one each, so... I will avenge you using Obelisk, the Tormentor! Don't you worry, Stardust Dragon. I will break the mold and then I will break everything he has because everything here is super effective against him. I will use... You know what? Let's use Hammer Arm. So use Fist of Fury! Stop fooling around! <laughs> don't, don't worry, kind sir. What's the matter with you? Getting all hot like that? Totally uncool, man! Uh, we invited the boss out here, but you had to mess it up! You embarrassed us, man! Well, that's... that's okay, sir. You have a junk war... are you all, like... Do you all have junk warriors with you? Is it because they are bikers? Oh, because you say Fudo is a biker, so... Maybe junk warrior is like the... the... the, the representative monster for bikers? Could be. So, against you, we have Drakaris. Nothing? Really? Boss, I'm telling you, you've got to do something about this kid. I've been watching you, and I'd say you've done enough. What are you, their friend or something? Then I guess you'll be battling me in their place. Uh, that makes sense. Sure. And you start with a Harpy Bro, which is susceptible to Drakars, if I remember correctly. But we have Thunderbolt, so you know what? Let's use Thunderbolt on him. Mm 
Gaia of the Earth. Well, how are you gonna do, sir, against our Slifer, the Sky Dragon? Okay, I can use Drill Pack on you. You used Endure, you're gonna need it. You're gonna need it, kind sir. And you know what, let's use the second mount ability, Dragon Breath Slifer. Goodbye, Gaia of the Earth. All right, enough! We'll leave like you want it! We'll be happy to see the last of this boring island anyway! Okay then. Huh, yeah, go right on, hanging around with these hayseeds. Okay. It would be fantastic if someone as strong as you lived here. I hope you'll at least stay here for a while. I beg your pardon? You're looking for Lostal? Lostal went off towards Bond Bridge a while ago. Okay, thank you, but I think I will heal my Stardust Dragon first here. And there's a guy standing next to the computer, like very close to the computer, what is that? Thank you, Nurse Joy. Do you offer something new, sir? Just give me your deck and no one has to get hurt. No. And why are you here? <laughs> okay, that's a new addition that I did not expect. Uh, let, let me enter the houses here. There must be something uh, and I don't want to miss anything. Me? I'm not lost though. She's probably gone to the berry forest, I think. She picks berries there for making lunch. Okay, so that did not have something new, but maybe this guy... My daddy told me to go to the berry forest to find some Jerry Beans man. He says with a bit of olive oil and salt, the flavor is incredible. Do you remember we had a trainer that lost her Jerry Beans man and she's very sad? Is that how she lost him? <clears throat> I don't want to think about it, so... <laughs> Let's enter here. Papa keeps lying to me and won't let me go out and play. Don't say that, that's not polite. You must never, ever go out to the berry forest alone. Why? There are ghosts there. It's just a twin-headed thunder dragon, sir. Don't worry, we're gonna take care of it. And there is nothing new here. Uh, I, I am looking for the guy who sells TMs. So, if he has something new. Three Island is actually the most populous of the islands here. Still, it could be less sleepy. But I wouldn't want to see goons like those bikers here again. True. Zinc. Good for the... For the memory, I think. And that rhymes for some reason. <laughs> I bought this house because I wanted to live somewhere quiet. Somewhere where I wouldn't be bothered by the latest Konami inventions or archetypes. Scandals. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, like... The new inventions, like uh, uh, pendulum summoning and such things. Ah, my brain hurts! I'm making a game! It's so hard to come up with dialogue for all the characters. I wish I had psychic powers like Esparoba. Are you the ROM hack maker inside the game talking to me right now? <laughs> so the ROM hack maker made a character of himself here? That's nice. Did you know that Sabrina is Solomon's niece? Because he was the gym leader of her gym. And that actually kinda makes sense because she's scary. So if she has the genes of the Moto family of winning all the time and she's the queen of games perhaps? Yeah, maybe she is the queen of games. She is very scary nonetheless, so let's, the, let's speak less of this topic. <laughs> But I really love the fact that the, we do have this kind of um, expanded dialogue. So thank you for the ROM hack maker. We appreciate it, of course. And what was in here, I wonder? Nothing new. And here we 
don't have anything new, so let's continue. Oh, we can actually cut this. Okay. Yeah, because when you face the twins, that's where you end up, so just having cut will save you the trouble. Where are you off to in such a hurry? There's a little girl that needs our help, ma'am, and right now you're in the way, kinda. Dark Magician! Wow, you're gonna be against Stardust Dragon. Do you remember the movie where Jaden and Yugi and uh, Yusei were against Paradox? Man, uh, we already saw Yugi versus Jaden, but how about Yugi versus uh, uh, Yusei? Man, that would be a very nice fight, so let's see the outcome right now. Against you, I will use Cosmic Flare! Return tells me that you don't like your trainer so much, Dark Magician. Insect Queen! Hello there! Okay, I did not uh, mean to get you here, but let's use Air Slash against you! Super effective and the expert belt will kick in, but she survives nonetheless! Wow, you're a tough opponent! Okay, the buck type was added to our Stardust Dragon. Our Stardust Dragon, <laughs> Dragon is now a buck type. That's interesting. Do I have a buck type move to use against Dark Magician? I don't think so. So let's take care of him using Cosmic Flare! And he uses Dark Magic Attack! <laughs> there is actually an attack called Dark Magic Attack. It's not a uh, faint attack and I just call it that. Goodbye, Dark Magician, and Stardust Dragon is doing a lot of uh, damage now. Wing Dragon of the Fortress, I hope, not of Law. Yes, it is, okay. Phew! <laughs> and the Expert Belt is actually very good. But I don't know, I would like to give, um, I think the Shell Bell. You're raising some wonderful Pokémon! Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, our Stardust Dragon is an awesome monster indeed. Thank you for that. I think I would like to give him the Shell Bell instead of the um, Expert Belt. Because we don't encounter monsters that are weak against his moveset moves a lot, so I think the Shell Bell will be more beneficial for us. Now, if I use Air Slash against you, how, man how much HP are we gonna get back, I wonder? Okay, a decent amount, at least to get out of the yellow zone. So I think I will rock the Shell Bell with our Stardust Dragon. Okay, so those are just encounters here. Bug Gem! Wow, that, that is definitely going on our <laughs> perfect ultimate great moth or something. Uh, when we add her to the team. Does she dwell here? Yes, she does! There she is! <laughs> How are you, our ace monster? Perfectly ultimate great moth is an integral part of our team. Right now, I'm very sorry that I uh, wanted to feature other monsters, but definitely she's still our ace monster. Um, we have the Dread, we have Injection Fairy Lily, we have Dark Magician Girl against Darts, of course. And there's an item here that I don't want to miss, please. Because I don't think I will come back here. Full heal, okay. Now, I remember there's a... Um... A very good item to the south, but I don't remember what it was. Hello, Jerry Beans man. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna do what they said they are gonna do to you, so you, you can live in peace, sir. You can live in peace.
Okay, we need to go more south, I guess. And north will be lost all. Tell you what, do I have a repel that I can use? I'm not gonna use a max repel, but just a normal repel. Do I have one? I have one, so that will make this area much faster, please. Hyper Beam! Interesting! It's a normal type move. Oh, acrobatics. A nimble attack, double damage if there is no held item. Only Stardust Dragon can learn it. So, do I sacrifice Shell Bell for acrobatics? It will become, what, 110? If you don't have any held items, but the Shell Bell restores health back. You can't learn Dazzle Gleam, unfortunately. I will keep that thought, but I will not do it just yet. I will, uh, I will keep the Shell Bell on our Stardust Dragon. Hyper Beam, there it is. 150-90 accuracy. It makes the user rest on the next turn. It's 90 accuracy and 5 times only. You know what actually will make this move a lot better? The ability Pixelate, which is now on two monsters that we've encountered, on uh, Starry Knight, Starry Dragon, and on a Guardian Iatos. And to think of it, Guardian Iatos actually used that move when she was under the influence of the Orichalcos against the Magical Hats, and she destroyed uh, Big Shield Gardner that way. Wow! Pixelate is very powerful when you think about it. I can give moves like these with the pick with the with the plate, the pixie plate, and that will make it a very very powerful uh, fairy type move. But for now, I don't think I will teach it to anyone. But it's a good addition to our TM case for sure. Now, Lostal, where are you? There you are. So. There is an item to the right. So before we leave... Oh! So I, I do have to get this item, I guess. Um, before we're... Uh, because we're gonna leave automatically after we defeat the Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon that dwells here. So let's claim the item first. Max Ether. Wow, that is a very nice find. I'm glad I did not miss that. So, hello, Lostal. <laughs> oh, please help! A scary monster appeared there a little while ago. It kept scaring me. There is... Uh, it made Lostal scared. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. No, go away. It's scaring me. Wah! Okay, let's see. Twin-headed thunder dragon. I'll defeat you. That's... Not... Twin Head of Thunder Dragon, that is Destiny Hero Plasma! Wow! I'm very happy that you made this a unique encounter, sir! But that raises the question if I cannot catch you now, will that mean that I can never add Destiny Hero Plasma to our Pokedex ever? Wow, and look at the field! We have Stardust Dragon versus Destiny Hero Plasma! Wow! I love this! I love this. Um, I don't want to take you down, though. I don't want to take you down. Meet your mesh, hopefully. Okay, okay. I'm very happy about that.
and I'm not gonna risk any more damage for a critical hit that's gonna take down Destiny Hero Plasma. Man, that is the second Destiny Hero in the game. <laughs> we already have the Red Master, and now we're gonna add Plasma. So, you know what? You, you're you gonna earn a Premier Ball, sir. Wow, that was so close. I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna use up all of our premier balls, sir. Trying to catch you in one of them, but it seems that you don't want to get caught in a premier ball, which is unfortunate. Come on, sir. Join our team in a premier ball, please. And Stardust Dragon goes down. How unfortunate. Yeah, I will send out our injection fairy lily. I don't want to take you down by any, any means, sir. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it by any means. So, we have two Premier Balls left. Come on, sir, join us, please, in a Premier Ball. Yes! Injection Fairy Lily does it! <laughs> she convinces Destiny Hero Plasma to join the team in the Premier Ball! That is awesome, Injection Fairy Lily. This monster burns its enemies by shooting its own boiling blood at them. Wow, scary. This blood is highly toxic. Give him a nickname, like we did with Isaac Clark. Um... I don't have an, a nickname in mind at the moment, so at the moment I will not give him a nickname until I think of a decent one, like Isaac. Uh, oh, that was so scary, thank you! You can have this! Restores HP but cause confusion when used. No, thank you. What's your name? Lost or scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home! And that is always funny to me that they did not go home, they actually went to the game corner. Home is the, is the, is the house in the, on Tree Island, so I always found that funny. So you rescued Lostal. How can I thank you? Lostal, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. Don't send her alone again, I guess. It's okay, Dad. I got to be friends with Adhan. Listen, listen. Please show me you're being cool again. Okay, Lostal. Oh, what's that? You're saying that this is for me? Don't take my Oracalco stone. Go, uh, go for the other meteorite, please. How did you know that I love rare rocks and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. Well, with meteorites, of course. Oh, I see. This is from Bill. You have to thank him for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. The Moonstone. Alright, I'll get the Queen Corner running right away. You have to come visit with a friend. So, if I leave and go back in. I can explain game rules to you, if you'd like. Which game should I describe? Um, Pokemon Jump. Make your Pokemon skip the Vine Whip rope with the A button. Only mini Pokemon around 28 inches or less may participate. Pokemon that only swim, burrow, or fly are not good at jumping. As a result, those Pokemon may not participate. Good things happen if everyone jumps in time. 
That's interesting, I've never actually seen that before. Command Dudrio's three heads to catch falling berries. What is the monster that gonna, that's gonna be here, I guess? Press right, up or left on the control pad to move the heads. To play this game, you must have a Dodrio. I don't know what's its equivalent here, unfortunately. Oh, so this is a game... That's why I, I don't remember this, because you need to play it with a friend. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. I will have to check that on YouTube, because I've never seen that, that game before. Okay. But it's, it's good to discover new things, guys, and this is one of them. <laughs> so... Let's go back to Bill, shall we? Can I actually fly there? I think we can actually fly there, and I just took the gondola here. For no reason at all, but that's fine. Oh, the PC system. Is it okay now to use it? Oh, you know what? You know what? I will actually not talk to Bill and Celia right now. Because since the PC system is working now, I think I will end the video here. Thank you, Nurse Joy. And the next part will start with us climbing a volcano. <laughs> to add the third Egyptian god, and we will add a new monster to our team, Destiny Hero Plasma, in order to feature his moves and uh, see what we see along the way. Uh, maybe new things were added as well. So please stay tuned for that part, it's gonna be awesome. Thank you all for sticking with me on this part, and I will see you next part. Goodbye. <laughs>